Hello, this is Rachel, Ready to Lose 77. Um, I'm fixing to make my, this is my first attempt at a food haul. Um, you're going to hear possibly the weenie dogs. My dishwasher's going in the background and um, kids may run in and out. Um, now I'm doing this from my laptop, so my, a lot of my items are over here and I'll be bringing them back to y'all to show you. So um, this is my kitchen, by the way, a hot mess. Don't look at the snack thing over there opened up with all the, um, you know, I've always got my teenage daughter and every friend she has at my house. So, you know, it's either get them snacks or um, you know, they're supposed to eat the leg off the table. See, my dog's barking at my bird. Leave Ashley, please. Sorry. Okay, this is where we're going to start. Um, love, love, love these. Propel Zero. A lot of this stuff is stuff y'all have known about and seen, but just telling y'all what I like. Uh, great. It's like drinking Kool-Aid back in the day. I absolutely love it, but it doesn't have really anything in it. It does have some sodium in it if you have high blood pressure or whatever, but absolutely love these. Um, this is something else. Some of y'all don't drink carbonated. My doctor doesn't give me any. He doesn't want me really drinking. Uh, he really doesn't even care about diet Mountain Dews and Dr. Peppers. He just says you got to use common sense. That's not supposed to be your main intake, which it has been for me. So I'm trying to do better. I got me, let me show you these. Well, no, because it'll slip my mind. I did get little one of, or a couple of Band and Wendy's favorite water bottles. Um, but I also got, which my daughter's got it at the park, the smaller size with a little flip top that you drink out of because it's easier for me to use on my, on the elliptical machine and stuff. But I did get me some of these so I can be more aware of how much water intake I'm doing because I'm not good at it. But I got some of these because they have them a sell at Kroger's but I got these big old bottles are 50 cents so I can you know fill those up sometimes because you know it's not always reasonable to spend that much money on a bottle of water plus waste but um, these are sparkling waters nothing's in them um, but they have um, black raspberry is my, Leah is my absolute favorite 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 um, and then these would be runners up and the only other flavors I like um, coconut pineapple and lemonade love them but um okay i got me some romaine lettuce which is one of my favorite what i do is cut that up and mix it with baby spinach um i'm not a tomato person and i i'm real real weird in that i like my <coughs> leah oh my god i like onion and cucumber and stuff like that but um the onion i don't really mind in my salad i put that in there but cucumbers i like to eat on the side whether I have them with my salad or not. I don't like to eat them with my salad. It's weird, but mushrooms, because you can never go wrong. I just love marsh mushrooms, period. Um, this is um, tomato basil string cheese by Kraft. Um, I don't really like reading all the labels, but oh my God. I'm pack her and send her. Leah, stop. Oh my God, it sounds so country hollering on the computer. Okay, uh, calories 70. Um, carbs one, protein six, sugars one. Um, I've got my deli fresh turkey meat, which I like to take the flat out, Italian style flat out bread, and the deli lunch meat, and the Hellman's Dijonese, um, 35 calories, zero protein, no, five calories per te teaspoon. Um, I like to take that with a romaine lettuce leaf, this, and some 2% cheese and roll it up. Um, the Laughing Cow. I'm a cheeseaholic, by the way. Um, sorry, my face fell out. Uh, garlic and herb, light Laughing Cow cheese, and French onion, light Laughing Cow cheese. 35 calories per wedge, 2 grams of protein. Um, sometimes those are good to take and put in the flat out bread and then put your lettuce and whatever else onion in your lunch meat it's really good okay i probably do the, the yogurt nobody else agrees with sometimes i do the uh, chobani fruit on the bottom this is pineapple um whew, that one's a little high because normally i eat the oikos or however you say it um and it's 130 calories 12 grams of protein and i love that fruit on the bottom so this is just on sale today, so I bought it. It has 14 proteins, 160 calories, which a lot of times when your proteins go up, your calories do too. But this one I just found today, and I'm going to tear it. Strawberry banana. 
Can't see it. Didn't help any of that. Strawberry and banana yet. Fruit on the bottom. That's gonna be like a dessert right there. Okay. Y'all may have seen the um, the little cottage cheese. I, I like cottage cheese, but the little cottage cheese um, where you can get the fruit preserves with the cottage cheese. Um, but what I found is if you buy sugar-free peach fruit preserves, which is my favorite flavor, that and pineapple, but they don't have pineapple preserves. Um, there's 10 calories in one tablespoon, zero sugars. There is no protein, but I take a little bit of this and I mix it with my cottage cheese, 2% low fat cottage cheese. And um, I love it. And it's, it, you know, it's less expensive than buying those little individual packages, which would be more convenient for somebody that's going to work. But it goes a lot further for less money and it, um, you're, you're eliminating the sugar. Steamers, really, really good. Um, there's two servings per package, there's 150 calories. So that'd be 100, 300 per the bag and 10 protein per the bag. Italian style chicken breasts, those are for salads. Well, for me, they're for salads. Um, shrimp, love shrimp, can't go wrong. I do, I'll take these shrimp. This is not, not be a, uh, I always say Bandit Wendy approved because I love her uh, constant dedication and the way she stays on track. But I take these shrimp and I'll saute them with a little garlic and extra virgin olive oil um, and mushroom and then maybe a little bit of onion or scallion or whatever. And I'll take the light classic Alfredo. And for me, these are my type of noodle. I don't like whole wheat pasta. Um, I do like the um, spaghetti squash, you know, you take it and cut it in half and bake it and then it comes out like kind of like in a spaghetti texture. But for me, these are the best that I've seen. Um, I got a lot of carbohydrates, but it is what it is. Everything in moderation. I also got these light four cheese ravioli. I'm an Italian. If you take Italian food away from me, I'll die, but so. Everything in moderation, and I do like it. Okay. I'm going to do a um, video, a recipe video. So I bought a bunch of jalapeno peppers. Um, I'll take this and the chicken breast strips or whatever and pound those up. Take these, cut it out, put cream cheese in it. Um, wrap the chicken, you know, the chicken breast strip around it, and then put bacon, one piece of bacon around it, and grill it. Uh, we have bell peppers, put it in anything, and love them, let's wash them. Nectarines and peaches, down here in this basket, along with bananas. And then I love the individual apple slices because Sometimes apples tend to go bad. These are cold. They stay in the refrigerator. You grab them and you go. Uh, one bag, zero fat, 30 calories. I'll take that sometimes and put it with, um, get a little Peter Pan, creamy reduced fat, my favorite. I've tried other ones. I even tried this one the other day that was um, like had practically no calories, no fat, no nothing. I don't even know what it's called. I threw the bottle away. As soon as I opened it up and tasted it, the whole three dollars and something was in the trash can because it was just that was disgusting. But um, broccoli and cheese stuffed chicken breast. There's 260 calories per chicken breast and 21 grams of protein. You can bake it in the oven or you can put it in the microwave. It's fully cooked. So um, turkey pepperoni. It's good to take those flat outs. Put a little bit of hold on. One. A little of the pe uh, pizza sauce, pepperoni, a little bit of mozzarella. Cook it up and you got a little flat out pizza. Uh, tuna creations, herb and garlic, and lemon pepper. Good to put on salads, good to mix with a little light mayo and eat on some light crackers or whatever. Just eat it out of the house. Happy pop. You're sitting around watching movies with children, something. It's better than the big extra butter. 
because I feel really used to have the movie theater extra butter popcorn. Leah! But these things are sold with them too, and there's there's white cheddar, there's um like a jalapeno flavor, there's all different flavors of these um little seasonings. You know, um you sprinkle on your Leah Ashley. Okay. Oh, 10 minutes, 24 hours. Okay, oatmeal. No big explanation. I'm fixing to get my first fill Monday, so um, he's going to fill it up pretty good because I have to do it under the floor scope. And he's tried three times before to do it in the office. So he's going to fill me pretty good, he said, as much as I can get stuff down so that um, I'm getting results because it's been over two months now. But uh, pistachios, love them. Got to dibble them out or you'll end up eating a whole bag. But um, light turkey chili, I mean turkey chili, love it. Uh, 180 calories per serving, per one cup serving, and uh, 24 protein. Um, okay. Rotisserie chicken. Like to eat it just to eat it. Eat it with some cheese, put it on a salad, whatever. Smart ones. Sometimes they find sodium, but sometimes you can pick and find ones that are better sodium content. Leah! Leah! Hadn't had a holler, holler at Bill in once. These are, um, this is my basket of, um, I love. Leah Ashley! Diet lemon Snapple tea, my favorite. Um, let's see. Pink lemonade, the Walmart brand. These are just all different varieties of the things to sprinkle in your water. And then dark chocolate Roasted almonds by Emerald. Okay, I'll show you one more. Now, speaking of the children that I have in my house, I had two pretty much complete full boxes of these. I'm down to one of these, and the other one's almost empty. They love these little popsicles, but um, nothing would be in the open end. 48 calories per popsicle, and it's like Italian ice, basically. Um, and uh, nine, zero proteins, but not really another, no other healthy than, you know, healthy kind of They're 45 calories, zero fat, fat grams, and they're really, really good. Found these today. I have to come back and do a product review. Leah! Oh my God. And never, and look, and look. This is, oh shoot. Hold on, I'm coming back. Okay. This is my other one. Just as sweet and well behaved as she can be. And the other one is in there. It's just the devil. Okay. okay. Um, these are called Arctic Zero chocolate peanut butter. There's 150 calories in the whole pint. Um, it even says it right here. That's in the whole pint. There's 3.4 proteins and there's five sugars and six carbohydrates. Let me read that right. Okay, they might get you on the carbs and stuff because it tells you 150. It says 37 calories times four per, per container. So, so there's actually 12 point whatever proteins, excuse me, in 24 carbs. You might want to go back and add that up. It's a carbohydrate watcher. Uh, and this is a cookies and cream one. We're going to investigate. Never, never can't have too much in the ice cream department. How about meats and different things like that? Um, you know, chicken and just whatever. Um, but um, that's pretty much my my very first grocery haul. I spent over $200 at Kroger's today, and I still got to go back for dog food and shampoos and conditioners and razors and different things like that. Um, it doesn't take long to spend a lot of money oh yeah and I've got to go to Sam's and get um I love the Lloyd's briskets uh, they're already done they're pretty expensive but if you don't eat as large of a portion of meat you you know portion it out have it with a salad really really good really high in protein um and then Italian Italian breaded tilapias they have about 20 something grams of protein and a little over 200 calories per tilapia but they're pretty big but they sell them at, at the Sam's but um 14 minutes into this okay um thank y'all have a great day